Hi, I'm Lewis. I'm 19 years old and from Westchester County. How you doing? I'm Anthony. I'm 21 and I'm from uh, Long Island. Hi, I'm RJ. I'm 19. I'm from Westchester as well. So we volunteered, the three of us, uh, about a month and a half, a month ago at a March 10th camp. We kind of got in involved through uh, through our boy Aaron. He's Hello, everybody. My name is Evergreen Disky. Uh, last March of 2011, I did my first Comfort Zone camp. What's up, everyone? My name is Aaron, and I got involved in Comfort Zone a little over a year ago. Older brother, a big buddy for a kid who has, who's lost something or someone important in their life, and you just get to spend the whole weekend with them and just have a good time and be a kid yourself. So. He first sprang the idea up to me. Immediately, I knew I wanted to do it. it was, I've always uh, been very giving back to the community, like doing community service and stuff like that. And it's just like spell the name out, you know, it's like uh, helping little kids go out for the weekend, you know, especially with something as big a deal like this, you know, like kids losing a parent or a uh, sibling. And, I mean, you, give a, you give a kid a whole weekend and you, know, you can really tell, you know, from going in that Friday till, you know, the afternoon or on the Sunday when they leave, you can tell, like, just your time alone is so important to them and this, they don't get time like that anywhere else. My personal experience was I'm a young guy. And uh, I definitely want to encourage more kids our age to do this. You can see the difference from the start of the weekend to the end. You know, the kid's very timid around you, doesn't really want to talk that much. The end of the weekend, didn't want to leave your side. You know, just following you like a little shadow. And my first camp, I realized that this was definitely a place that I could just be myself and uh, make new friendships and, you know, explore different outlets uh, that I had never explored before. So after I did my first camp, I remember I came right back to uh, my college, which is Oneonta, it's in upstate New York, and I realized that uh, I needed to get my fraternity involved in something like this, because it was just a great opportunity for a lot of great guys to uh, just let loose and have fun and have a you know really amazing weekend with amazing people. So um, I came back and uh, I, got a, I spoke to everyone at Chapter, and everyone agreed that uh, they wanted to do training, so I got a couple of fellows together and we did training on Long Island and from that um, they went to the camp with me. It was it was one of the most rewarding experiences I've ever had uh, just to hang out with my friends all weekend as well as you know have a little buddy who looks up to you all weekend. One of my good friends, one of my fraternity brothers has done it numerous times before and he thought that it was a great experience and wouldn't stop talking about it so I figured I had to give it a try. I went to the training and uh, all of a sudden I, I realized that this was really uh, an amazing thing that they had going on here. So me and four of my brothers, you know, we went to the camp in Jersey and, you know, the second you got there you just realized that it was truly uh, a life-changing experience. You know, everybody in the room was so genuine, so happy to be there. Everybody was there for a good cause, you know, the same cause to help people out. Um, and throughout the weekend, you know, with the healing circles and the, the fun activities, you know, really brought everything together and, you know, everybody was just really in shock at the end of the day. And, overwhelmed but really in shock and you know I'm definitely going back because I love them. It was fun we all we jumped in the car and we went down to uh, to New Jersey for the weekend and we all just piled in my car we got all of our stuff ready we were all hyped up we went down there and I just remember like immediately everyone was like all you know so nice when you first get there everyone was just so welcoming and friendly and then uh, I could just see my brothers were growing like a stronger bond to their littles as the weekend went on and by the end of the weekend like all of our littles didn't want to leave none of us wanted to leave okay so when we went in March it was uh, our first camp and I think it's good to kind of tell people a little bit of what you're uh, what you're getting into while you go there um, I had no clue what I was getting into Aaron tried to kind of explain it to me but he really couldn't so like I said when you get there you kind of just get sucked into the whole atmosphere of the camp from the icebreakers, uh, these goofy games that you're playing, songs. to the songs, <laughs> to the to the four square. It's just like it's a regular it's camp a atmosphere. Movie. I mean, so but yeah, it's like a typical camp. Some of the things that like we did, we did uh, challenge courses, like a rope obstacle. We had like climb over a wall. Uh, there was a rock climbing wall. We played hockey. We played basketball. So like the weekend is it's full of fun things for you to do for yourself to let loose and for your little to let loose. But then there is a time where you and your little buddy and your group that you're together with will have a designated hour or two, which is, uh, it's called the healing circle, by the way, which you guys go and you, you talk about your problems. And that 
all the fun stuff, yes, that's fun, but to me, I think the healing circle is probably one of the most crucial parts of camp, but the most rewarding parts of camp because you get to see how strong kids who are half the age of you are and how they deal with their problems and how they're so willing to open up to you. And it just, like I, like I said earlier, it humbles you and it just makes you, it makes you so appreciative of what you have. But it's definitely not a sad weekend. It's a fun weekend.